Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel? How was your day? Good evening, Yvette. So how was your day? Good. So, so. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's see. Here's Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marco. How are you? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> relax, relax. Okay, so all right, glad to hear that. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Well, good evening, everybody. I see Jose, Erica, and, and yes, well, everybody yeah. right there. Okay, so we're going to start with today's class, and we have the quote of the day. Okay, so Yvette, help us reading the quote of the day. Okay. In the midst of every difficulty, okay. So yes, in the middle of every difficulty. All right. So, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. Okay. Opportunity. So yes, opportunity. Opportunity in the middle. Okay. In the middle. In the middle. What is the meaning of in the middle? Uh -huh. In the middle, what is the meaning? That is a preposition. That is a preposition. Es en, en medio, teacher. Yes, in the middle means in medio. That is true. Uh -huh. So what is the meaning of difficulty? Difficulty? Dificultad. Dificultad, yes. Now, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of lies lies opportunity well opportunity you know that is oportunidad right so lies what is the meaning of lies do you know now yes um lies in this case is like recibe Right, encontrar. Mm -hmm. So, in the middle of every difficulty, en medio de eh, cada dificultad, hay una oportunidad. Okay, that is true. Okay, in the middle, there is always opportunity, right? So, we are going to start with today class and, well, we are going to have the warm up. We have vocabulary. We are going to move to grammar. And today we are going to finish with their is and their are. Then we have practice time and we have exercises. Okay. So the warm up is going to be a stop the bus. A stop the bus. And we have four categories we have verb, object in your house, adjective, and preposition of place. Okay, so we're going to play with three letters, okay, with three letters. The same thing, stop the bus, lo mismo que hemos hecho siempre. But this time, four categories, cuatro categorías. Four, verb, object in your house, adjective, and preposition of place, okay? So you will have two minutes. And the first letter, the first letter, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to share this here. Okay, so I'm going to have verb, object in your house, adjective, and preposition of place. Okay. All right. So the first letter, the first letter is going to be easy, very easy, guys. It's not difficult. Letter B. Letter B. Two minutes. Let it be.
Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay, Yvette. Yes, Yvette. Okay. Mm, bye. Bye. Uh, bear. Bear. Big. Big. Okay, big. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. E between. Between. Perfect. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so next letter. Next letter. With the letter. Uh, let me see. Okay, Tanya. All right. So with the letter, with the letter N. N. Okay, Tanya. Letter N. N. Mm -hmm. Nobody? Is it difficult? I I don't know, teacher. Okay. Tell me, Marco. No? Uh no, teacher, no. No. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? Let me see. Teacher, I I, I don't speak mix. Okay. Okay, Jose. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. All right, so a verb with the letter N, a verb. No, okay, let me, let me share my screen. Okay, so a verb with the letter N, need, necesitar, need. And Aris, Aris for now? Okay. Aris, yeah. Um, mm. but with the letter N, N. Mm, uh, uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay, so a verb need an object in your house. Okay, napkin. What is the meaning of napkin? Servilleta. Okay. So adjective, the adjective. Negative. Which one, Erwin? Negative. Negative, yes, very good. And the preposition of place? Nice, aha, uh -huh. yes, as well, Jose, nice, aha. Uh -huh. And preposition of place? How do you say cerca? 
Near. Near. You see? It was easy. Okay, the last one. Okay, the last one. Yes, the last one. Okay, let me see. Okay, with the letter A. With the letter A. Letter A. Okay, two minutes. A. Mm -hmm. only, only so I walk in a no remember okay nothing. don't worry don't worry okay what about the other ones okay one minute Okay, let's see. Okay, verb with the letter A. Verb. Okay, let me see. Act. Act away, okay. Object in your house with the letter A. Armchair. Armchair. Uh -huh. Adjective. Amazing. Activity. Actively, yes. Amazing, yes. Mm -hmm. And preposition of place. Above. 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 After. Above. Above. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. So you see that you can? Very good. Okay, guys. We are going to continue with today's class and we are going to start with vocabulary. Okay, so these pictures show things you find in a town. So we are going to see. Number one, what is this? Traffic light. Traffic lights. Yes, the traffic lights. What about this one? What is this? Bakery. A bakery, okay. And what is this? Post office. The post office, okay. All right, so we are going to see. Okay, let me see, I'm going to take notes. So this one is the traffic lights. Okay, so traffic, oh. let me see. This is the traffic lights, okay. So this one, the bakery, okay. This one? The post office. Okay. So post office. What about this one? Number four. Movie theater. The movie theater. Okay. The movie theater. What about this one? What is this? Museum. 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 Yeah. Museum. 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 Uh, what about this one? Bank. The bank? Post office? The post yes, office? The bank. The bank, okay. The bank. okay. the bank, okay, let's see. We're going to talk about that later. Seven? Pharmacy. The pharmacy. The pharmacy. Yes, the, the pharmacy, yes. What about this one, number eight? Uh, 
supermarket. Supermarket. The supermarket. supermarket. Uh -huh. The supermarket. Okay. And the last one, number nine. Town Square. The Town Square. Town Square. Okay. The Town Square. Okay. So, what about number three and six? Are you sure that six is the bank and three is the post office? Are you sure? Three is a bank, six post office. Yes, so the number three is the bank and number six is the post office. Why? Why number three is the bank and number six is the post office? Why? Because as you can see right Un here, correo. Uh -huh. you see the mail, right? Yes, uh -huh. exactly. So this one is the post office, okay? Very good. So let's move. Semáforos, semáforo, traffic lights, okay? Panaderia, bakery. Yes. Um, is there a bakery near your house? Is there a bakery in your neighborhood? Yes, there is or no, there is not. A bakery in your neighborhood, in su vecindario. Is there a bakery? Yes. Yes, there yes. is. Yes, there is. Mm, yes, there is one as well in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. Is there a pharmacy in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Is there a bank? No, there aren't. aren't. Oh, no, there aren't. Okay. Yes. Is there is there a bank? Is there a bank? No, there isn't. All right. Or in this case, since I asked you, como le pregunté, is there a bank de uno? Entonces sería no, there isn't. Mm -hmm. Pero si quiere decir no, no hay bancos, puede decir no, there aren't. Okay. Yo entiendo que es en plural. All right. So, is there a supermarket near your neighborhood? No. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No supermarket. Okay. In a museum? Is o that... supermarket es como tiendita, una tienda chiquita mm -hmm. también. No. No, una tienda chiquita puede ser una convenience store. Una tienda chiquita, pero un supermarket es como un supermercado donde hay many, many stops, right? Many, many products. Muchísimos productos. So no, it's not the same. No es lo mismo. Okay? All right, so no, there is not. Is there a post office? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. Pretty much. Oh my God, that is cool. Okay, very good. So now, let me ask you something. Where do you go if you are sick? Where do you go if you are sick? Uh, pharmacy. Pharmacy. To, uh -huh. So now, if I am sick, I go to the pharmacy. Okay, if I am sick, I go to the pharmacy. Now, where do you go if you have some free time? Where do you go? Where do you go if you have some free time? Where do you go? I listen to I music. I listen to music, event. I watch TV. I watch TV. Uh -huh. What else? Where do you go? Where do you go? If you have some free time. Uh -huh. Where do you go? In the... I go to... I, I go to... A park. I go to the park. And where do you go if you want to send a letter? Where do you go? Where do you go if you want to send a letter? 
where do you go? If you want to send a letter, uh -huh. post office. I go to the post office. And where do you go if you are hungry? If you are hungry, where do you go? Bakery. I go. I go to bakery. To the bakery. Okay. I go to supermarket. To the supermarket. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's well. Yes. That's true. Food court. Yes. To the food court. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and where do you go if you need to change money? If you need to a change. Bank. I go to the bank. I go to the bank. I go to the bank. Yes. Okay. And where do you go if you have a headache? Where do you go if you have a headache? I go to the pharmacy. I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor. I go yes. to the pharmacy. Okay. The pharmacy. Yes. Okay. And where do you go? Where do you go if you feel happy? Where do you go if you feel happy? I go at church. I go to the church. Okay. And where do you go if you feel tired? Tired. Where do you go? I go to um, work. You go to work? Okay. All right. So, or you go home, right? You go home. So, very good. Very good. Let's move. Okay. Now, listening. I'm going to play an audio and you are going to listen to Claire. Claire is in a new town. She is lost. Ella está perdida. She is lost. Perdida. And her phone is out of battery. Mire cómo se dice que su teléfono no tiene batería. Se quedó oh. sin carga. So, the phone, en ese caso, el celular de ella. So, her phone is out of battery. Out of battery. Out of, se une. Out of battery. Y se, eso se pronuncia como una battery. Battery. Para que suene un poco mejor su pronunciación. Ok. Vamos a repetirlo uno por uno. Ok. So, she is lost and her phone is out of battery. She is lost and her phone is out of battery. Yvette, read it. Lea la oración. It's lost in her phone. It's lost in her phone. Okay. Ervin? Oh. Out of battery. Okay, out of battery. Christian? She's lost. She's lost and her mm -hmm. phone mm -hmm. is out of battery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Auto. Uh -huh. Irma? Auto. She's not and her phone is out of battery. Out of battery. Out of. Out of. Out of. Una como out of. Out, out of. Out of battery. Out of battery. Franklin? She's not and her phone is out of battery. Battery. Yes, out of battery. Okay, Marco. Well, Erica. His lot and her phone is out of battery. Very good. Okay, I see Reynaldo there, but I don't know if they can uh, actually uh, speak. I see Tanya. Uh, Jose, actually, he cannot speak. Okay, so um, let's see, guys. Let's pay attention. So you are going to listen to the dialogues. You are going to listen to four dialogues. So you need to get the places that Claire wants to visit. Va a tomar nota de los lugares que Claire quiere visitar. Son cuatro diálogos. Cuatro diálogos y va a tomar nota de los cuatro lugares que ella menciona. Okay. So let me share with you the sound. Give me one second. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
Dialogue One. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there's a bank on the corner. Thank you. You're welcome. Dialogue Two. Excuse me, is there a supermarket near here? Yes, it's on Chapel Street. How do I get there? Go straight. Go past the movie theater. Turn left at the traffic lights. It's on the left. Dialogue three. Excuse me, I'm looking for the museum. Go straight ahead. Turn right at the end of this street. It's on the right. Is it far? No, it's close. About five minutes on foot. Thank you. Dialogue four. Four. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the town square? I'm sorry, I'm not from here. Okay. Once again, okay, una vez más. Dialogue one. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there's a bank on the corner. Thank you. You're welcome. Dialogue two. Excuse me, is there a supermarket near here? Yes, it's on Chapel Street. How do I get there? Go straight. Go past the movie theater. Turn left at the traffic lights. It's on the left. Dialogue three. Excuse me, I'm looking for the museum. Go straight ahead. Turn right at the end of this street. It's on the right. Is it far? No, it's close. About five minutes on foot. Thank you. Dialogue four. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the town square? I'm sorry, I'm not from here. Okay, number one. Which is the place? Uh, bank. I go bank. Okay, bank. to the bank. Okay, very good. So to the bank. Number two. To the supermarket. supermarket. To the supermarket. Okay. Number three. Museum. 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 Repeat after me and say museum. 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 And the last Museum. one? Times Square. Times Square. Times Square. El Times Square. Okay, do you know what is a town square? Do you have an idea? Town Square? No? The town square is como la plaza de la ciudad. For example, in San Salvador, ¿cuál es el town square? El Parque de, de la, la Libertad. Parque Barrios, el Parque la, de Libertad. Plaza Barrios. Yes. Uh -huh. La Libertad sería. Yes, la Libertad, right? Uh -huh. Yes, ese sería el Town yes. Square de San sí. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, so es como la plaza principal de una, uh, de un departamento, okay? So, in this case, very good. Was it difficult or easy? Easy. Easy, easy right? Okay, so. Language point. Eh, Marcelo, help us reading everything. Ayúdenos a leer todo. Excuse me, is there a van near here? Here. Here. Excuse me, I am looking for the museum. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the town score? Yes. Okay, so. Those are different questions that you can ask whenever you want to ask for directions, okay? For example, excuse me, is there a bank near here? Disculpe, ¿hay algún banco cerca de aquí? Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Or excuse me, is there a pharmacy near here? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, is there a post office near here? Excuse me, is there a bakery near here? Etc. Right? So then this one, excuse me, I'm looking for the museum. Disculpe, estoy buscando el museo. I'm looking for. La acción de que usted está buscando, está viendo dónde queda. I'm How do you say looking? 
looking for, buscar. Yes. So, ah, uh, buscar. Para... Uh -huh. I'm looking for the museum. Estoy buscando el museo. Uh, uh, mm. Yes. For example, es de, es de buscar lugares. Lugares. La, ese buscar puede ser de buscar cualquier cosa. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, um, if you are in, in your company and you say, um, excuse me, I'm looking for the cafeteria. Or excuse me, I'm looking for the meeting room. Or excuse me, I'm looking for um, the boss office, etc. Right? Estoy buscando. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or in your case, that uh, if you work in the university, right? So, excuse me, I'm looking for the, what? The third building, okay? El edificio tres or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I'm looking for it. And the last one, excuse me, can you tell me the way to the, to the town square? Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the town square? So in this case, it's like saying, discúlpeme, okay? Me puede decir cómo llegar a la plaza de la ciudad. Me puede decir cómo llegar. Me puede decir el camino que debo de tomar. Mm -hmm. So if you want to say, vaya ser recto. ¿Cómo se dice vaya ser recto? Vaya ser recto. Now, okay, so, vaya a ser recto, go, give me one second, go straight, go straight, vaya a ser straight. recto, straight, straight, yes, go straight, okay, vaya a ser recto, go straight, okay, now, how do you say, Gire a la derecha. Go right. Uh -huh. Go right. Or in this case, to be turn right. Turn. Turn right. Como doblar. Girar. Turn right. Yes. Okay, so now, how will you say gire a la izquierda? Go left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Uh -huh. Turn left. Turn left. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay, very good. So, remember, excuse me, is there a bank near here? Excuse me, I'm looking for the museum. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the town square? Etc. Okay. So let's keep moving. Okay, so now we have some exercises. Prepositions of place. Let's look at the picture below and complete the sentences. Okay, so the light is the light. The light is where? Where is the light? Where is the light? Above, in front of, behind, next to, between, on, in, under. Where is the light? Where is the light? Above. Above. Above, above what? Above the bed. Above the bed. Above the bed. Yes, number two, where is the mirror? Where is the mirror? Uh -huh. Where is the mirror? In for of. In front of the wall? Yes. No. In front of the pared? Or sobre la pared? Where is the mirror? On, On? On the wall. On the wall. On the wall. On the wall. <laughs> Okay, sobre no. la pared, on, 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 on. 
The plants are, where are the plants? Where are the plants? Uh -huh. The plants are? In, on the left. On the left. Um, on the left side, the okay. Book. But uh, here, we have the prepositions right here. The ones that- no, the okay. In the, Under? No. No, no because they're in. In? in. Um, no, because they are not in the books. No están dentro de los libros, las plantas. In front of, in front of the. In front of the books. Mm. Or next to. Or al lado de. Behind, behind, al lado. Oh, behind, behind, atrás. Behind, behind, atrás. Behind. Ah, uh, perdón. Mm -hmm. Excuse, sorry, sorry. No worries. So, the plants are. Vamos a dejar next to, okay? Next to, next to the, um, next to the books, okay? The book. Right now, yes, let's leave it like that. Sigamos con la siguiente. The light On is, right. the light is, where is the light? The green. Between, okay? Yes. So between. In front. In front? Sorry, between. Okay, so let's see. So we have the mirror, the window, and the light. So is between. Maybe. Okay. So what about number five? The bed is. Where is the bed? Under. Under, very good. Um, Under what? Under the light. Under the light. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Under. Abajo. Abajo de la lámpara. Lámpara. Yes. So what about number six? The rock is the rug. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Where is the rock? What is the meaning of rock? Rock is alfombra. Alfombra, mm -hmm. Where is the Below. rock? Below. Okay. Below, below the bed. Okay. And the wall is the wall is the bed. The wall. Where is the wall? I understand the pared. Behind. 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 Behind the bed. Okay. Atrás de la pared. Okay. Behind the bed. Yes. Okay. And there is a double bed. Where? Where? Where is a double bed? Una cama de esas. It's a double bed. So where is it? It is? Uh -huh. In the room. In the room. Yes. Dentro de la casa. Ajá, dentro de el dentro cuarto. Del cuarto. Dentro del cuarto. Ok. So, again, above, sobre. In front of, enfrente de. Behind, atrás. Next to, al lado de. Between, en medio. On, sobre. Sobre una superficie. Yes. In, Dentro. dentro and under abajo yes 
Okay, so right now we are going to do something. You are going to go to different rooms with your partner and you are going to create one sentence for each preposition. Me va a crear una oración por cada preposición que usted tiene aquí. We have eight. Tenemos ocho. Okay. But first I'm going to take the attendance. First I'm going to take the attendance. Um, okay, let me see. Give me one second. Okay, so Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Cristian Marcelo Ramírez Morán. Present. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexandre Escalante Barrillas. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. José Enrique Silesar Alas. Well, yes, I know. Okay. Okay. Um, Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Ébora. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Um, Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Okay. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Okay. So right now, we are going to go to a different room. Okay, remember, what you need to do is that you need to create one sentence for each preposition. So at the end, you are going to have eight, eight sentences. Okay? If you have questions, please ask. Okay? If you have questions, ask me. So let me create the rooms and yes, there you go. Siempre me quedo muteado y hablando solo. <risa> ok. Vaya, son ocho, ¿verdad? Sí, ocho, ocho. Aquí la tengo ya. Ok. Voy a sacar el bloc de notas. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, teacher, la uh, uh, question es... De las imágenes, de la imagen, tenemos que sacar ocho o inventar nosotros ocho? You are going to create. Oh. Okay. Usted lo va a crear. Ok. Ocho nuevas. Ocho nuevas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. So, how was your day? How was your day, Franklin? Was it uh, tired? What? what about your day? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Um, good. So good. So. Uh, good, good. Um, bastante liviano. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Very good. Okay. Um... No sé con, con qué cosa Yo me había, gustaría había... empezar. Do you have any question? 
vamos a hacer eh, las oraciones, digamos que nosotros las podemos crear, no precisamente de la imagen que tenemos ahí. Ah, no, 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 yes, you need to create new ones, new ones, Ajá, no. nuevas, ok, no de esa imagen, puede ser de cualquiera, ¿sí? No. Eh, ok, Tania, Tania, uh... ¿Sería de hacer oraciones nuevas o completar yeah. las que tenían en la pantalla? No, hacer nuevas, new ones. Ah, ah. Ok, thank you. Ok. Ok, continue, please, ok. You have uh, four minutes, ok. Cuatro minutos y volvemos al salón principal, ok. Ok, can you go with everybody? Los chat los, ¿verdad? Ahorita veamos, eh, sería next. Bueno, estamos, vamos a utilizar a bow. Yeah. Mm, mm. A bow, bang, behind, um, up, no, behind, next to, behind, behind, um, in, under. Si algo le aprendí a teacher es eso, por lo menos me quedó eso. <laughs> ok, very good, Mark. Excellent. Okay. Oh. I think that you are with Jose, y but Jose cannot, cannot speak. Ah, ah, eso le dije yo de que le hubiera dicho para que la estamos escribiendo. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. ¿Para questions? que no puede hablar? Mm, ahorita no. 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 Bien, fine, fine. Uh -huh. You're fine. Okay. Estamos okay. escribiendo. Ok. Thank you. Ok. El. El. Esta sería The cat is on the table. El gato está sobre la, la mesa. mesa. Ok, repeat after me, Franklin. The cat, the cat is on the, the table. The cat is, is on, on the table. Is on the table. The cat is on the table. The cat is on the table. Ok. Una más, quiero ver otra más. Sería, no sé si podemos poner. Mm, mm -hmm. Mi celular, my I'm cell phone, and on. Is. Is. My cell phone is, is on. Is on, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, my cell phone is on. And. Er. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Cómo se no sé cómo se dice eh, ropero? Ah. O armario. O armario, o sea. Okay. Ah, wardrobe. Eh, armario. Yes, wardrobe. Or a closet. You can say closet as well. Okay. Ward wardrobe. Okay. Wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería Franklin, my cell phone is on. Mm -hmm. My cell phone is on the class. Ah, perdón, my eh, era ropero. Oh. Ok. Closet. Oh. Ok. Recuerde que on significa sobre. Sobre. Entonces está diciendo que su armario está sobre. Que su que ser está sobre. dentro. Pero si quiere decir dentro, tiene que utilizar in. In. You mm -hmm. need to use in. Uh -huh. 
sería my cell phone is in the closet. Excellent. Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Así, sí. Quiero mm ver. -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, digamos la okay. between between okay ya le, ya le, ya le digo Frank solo la estoy armando the TV between eh, perdón no le escuché the TV. El TV, sí. The Queen. Queen. The TV. Uh, queen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Queen. <laughs> the TV is between. Between. TV, uh, between. Between en medio. Uh, Mm. El televisor está en medio. ¿Y o y, teacher? Eh, is the TV is, ¿verdad? No, the TV is. Is. Yes. Is. De está. Is. The TV is. Ajá. Uh -huh. The TV is. Between. Uh -huh. Between. Where? Ajá. Uh -huh. Between. Porque um, the uh, room. aparece como midley. Mid, middle, 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 Mi, middle. La pronunciación ah. es middle. Middle. Frank. Middle. Sí, sí. Dígame, dígame. The TV is between from the living room. Ok. Bye. Veamos, ok. Let's see. Franklin, vamos a, primero vamos a, a responder la pregunta de Franklin. Franklin pregunta por qué es porque en medio aparece a uh, middle, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. In the middle and between son sinónimos. Ok. Entonces puede decir in the middle or puede decir between. Between all oh, the middle. Ok. Yeah, okay. Las dos son válidas. Las dos son válidas. La que tenemos en la presentación es between. Por eso es de que okay. es between, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahora, eh, ahora la pregunta de eh, Irma. En este caso, la, la oración que estaba brindando es, eh, vuelva a, a, a mencionar la, la última oración, Irma. TV, the TV is between from the living room. Ok. So, the TV is between from the living room. From. Ok, bye. From. Living room. Living room. Eh, déjeme le voy a mostrar algo en este momento para poder so I'm going to explain this ok I'm going to explain this so the, the sentence that you have is like this the TV is between from the living room that's what you have uh -huh. now si estamos diciendo que la televisión está en el medio de algo o sea, en realidad tenemos que poner que es en medio de dos cosas, porque si no puede estar en medio solo de una cosa. Tiene que estar ah, en medio de dos cosas. Es que ella ah, lo quiso sí. dar a entender que está en medio de la sala, del cuarto. Vaya, pero en ese caso, como es between, tiene que estar en medio de dos cosas. Ajá, el, sí, entonces ahí se aplicaría entonces el middle, ¿verdad? Que es como eh, el sinónimo, ¿verdad? Porque está en, en medio. The TV is in the middle. In the middle oh. of the living room. Está en el medio de la eh, sala. Habitación o ah, sala. De, de la habitación. En living room es, es sala. Living room, ok. Yes. Entonces, que, tenemos que decir to, dos cosas. The TV is between. ¿Qué? 
es en medio de los libros y los sillones o los libros y la manzana. Sería de books. No, de TV. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is. Ah, from. No, from. The no, TV no, is no. between. Is between. Um, the books. The books. Sí, sí sería, ¿verdad? En. Um, the, the table. The table. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. So, la televisión está en medio de los libros y de la mesa. Ok. ¿Mm? Ok, continue. Ok. Thank you, Bishop. Ok. Mm. Qué difícil está. No, es easy. Okay. Okay. Um, the cat is under the bed. Okay. Yes. The cat is under. Under. Under the bed. Okay. Yes. Under. 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 Eh, no sé si estaría está bien estaría bien esta de showing are under the bed estará the, bien pronunciado the, the chairs are Short under the bed. zapatos oh the shoes the shoes ay the shoes are under the bed under the bed yes the bed okay. que sería los zapatos están debajo de la cama Yes. Uh -huh. The shoes. Una, dos, tres. The shoes under are the bed. Under the bed. Yes. Okay. Ya are, tenemos un. Are under the bed. Yes. Ya tenemos uno de in, on, under, mid y dentro. Nos haría falta uno como a un lado. From next to. Next to, al lado de. Next. Okay, did you finish? You finish? Todavía no. No yet? Okay, continue, continue. Okay, continue. Let's see, I'm going to do what you think. Did you finish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, finish. Okay. So let's see. I, I want to hear. Okay. The upper above in the tree. The, again? Go again? De nuevo? The upper. Oh, the apple. The apple above in the tree. Okay, so the apple is is above the tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cat is above of the roof. Oh, okay. So the cat is above the roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. But and two, the garage is behind the house. The garage is repeat after me behind behind. Yes. The house. Okay. Yes, house. The windows in the wall. The window is on the wall. Verbo to be. No me lo han agregado. On, on the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. The bank is next to the house. The bank is next to the house. Uh -huh, yes. Flower is between the grass. The ah, okay. So between es en medio. So mm -hmm. si usamos between tienen que haber dos cosas. 
Y algo que okay, um, de las dos cosas. Poder ser. Um, entonces, the flower is between the, 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 the three árboles, en medio de los árboles. Is between the trees. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Uh -huh. Is between the trees. Ok. The car in front of the house. The cat is in front of the house, yes. The clock is on the table. The clock is on the table, yes. The train passes under the city or under city. Okay, the train passes, passes under abajo. Uh-huh. Okay, under, okay. Under. The city. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So okay. Ob observations. Okay. Observaciones. Mm -hmm. We we shouldn't. No debemos. We shouldn't forget. No debemos de olvidar el verbo to be. Porque recuerda okay. que eso es el ser o estar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't forget about that. Very okay. good. So let me see. I'm going to call you back to the main session. Give me one minute, okay? Give me one okay. minute. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I see Jose, Ariban. Okay. Okay, guys, give me your sentences. I want to know sentences with above. Sentences with above. Sentences with above. Sentences with above. Sentences. The light above in the table. Okay, so the light is above in the table. Above the table. Above yeah. the table. Okay. Another one. Uh -huh. Otra. Above. Above. Mm -hmm. Another one with above. Another example with above. De las que han creado. The lamp above in the table. Okay, the lamp is above the okay. table. In front of, in front of. Uh -huh. In front of. The computer is front of the wall. Yes, behind. The clock behind the sofa. The clock is behind the sofa. Yes, next to. The window is next to the door. The window is next to the door. Yes, between. The bed is between the table and the furniture. Yes, Tanya. On. An example with on. The cat on the sofa? The cat is on the sofa, yes. Mm -hmm. In, in. In. The sofa in the living room? The sofa is in the living room, yes. And under? Uh, the book is on the table under the table under the table okay very good observations observaciones que no se les olvide el verbo to be el is o el are que no se les olvide okay mm. yes so now let's move and we are going to continue with food vocabulary so what you need to do guys is that you need to write down five things for each category below. So five fruits, five 
vegetables, five meats, and five other. El cuarto, number four, que es, dice other, es otros. Usted le dije qué categoría quiere incluir. Tiene que incluir cinco de la categoría que elija. It could be colors, it could be animals, it could be um, eh, what else? Professions, occupations. Yes? Usted le... Cinco. Cinco examples. Just five. five. Five fruits, five vegetables, five meats, tipo de carne. Okay? And okay. other. En la cuarta usted elige con su compañero qué va a incluir. Okay? Okay. All right, so let me create the rooms again. So, yes. Urban, okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Hola, now, no, those are not sentences, no son oraciones, son nada más eh, cinco frutas, all right, so five fruits, eh, five vegetables, five meat, and the other category that you are going to choose. His name? Mm -hmm. Five. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, number one, fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, fruit, fruit. Fruit. Number one, fruit. Yes. Uh, number one, apple. Apple. Ah, Estamos de acuerdo también. <laughs> y el otro me dijo grape grape uh -huh. okay teacher son solo cinco verdad yes okay de su yes five um okay Broccoli. Broccoli, okay. That's a vegetable. Uh -huh. Broccoli. Uh, Tomato, también creo que. Tomato, yes. Uh -huh. um, no cose, si coseno mucho, pero. Ay, déjalo, come on. Yeah. Solo leche. The common ones, los más comunes. The common ones, Marcelo. Es que solo los más comunes, solo se me ocurren tres. Ok. Tomero, carro, potato. 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 Ok. Potato. Y no se me ocurre otro. Ok. ¿Por qué? Whisky, pero whisky. Whisky. ¿Cómo se? Whisky, así. Ah, podría uh, ser chile. Ajá. Whisky. Ah, pues whisky y chile. Ya estaríamos completos. Marcelo. Oh, pero. Eh, chile. Chile no es chile. No, es pepper. No. Pepper. Pepper. 
Con doble P, ¿verdad? Yes, no, two P's, uh -huh. yes, two P's, yes. De ahí las carnes. Ajá. Chicken. Ajá, chicken, ajá. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, ok. Uh, cauliflower. Teacher, eh, cebolla es vegetable. Yes. Onion, yes. Yes. La cebolla es un vegetal. Onion. Onion. Ajá. Uh -huh. Onion. Ok. Yes. Onion. Una más. Carrot es zanahoria, ¿verdad? Carrot, yes. Y el aguacate que es fruta o verdura. Uh -huh. <laughs> DJ, whisky, whisky siempre es como whisky. Yes, whisky. Yes, it's the same. Okay. Whisky. Okay. Y el y el tipo de carne que vamos a poner, o sea, no lo que no entendí. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, with meat, va a buscar los tipos de carnes que tenemos. For example, carne this... de res, carne okay. de cerdo, carne de pollo, se puede okay. decir, no sé. Yes. Entonces, okay. eso es lo que tienen que buscar. ¿Carne marisco? ¿O cómo? No, la... mariscos no son carne, o sea, son mariscos. How do you say mariscos en inglés? Seafood. Sopa de algo así. But no, no, ok, so you need to add meat, o sea, carnes, tipo de carne, cabal como la de cerdo, la de res, la de pollo, eh, ese tipo de carne tiene que saber cómo se dice, quiero que lo busque cómo se dice. Cerdo, pollo, eh. Ajá. Pero solo esas tres carnes hay porque, ¿qué más? O sea, en China ah. sí comen de todo, sapo. No, no. <risa> Recuerde que también, <risa> también las salchichas entran en las oh, carnes. Oh. Embutidos. Los embutidos, ah. estaba las salchichas. Cerdo, quiero el, el cerdo pollo. Ah, el tocino. Pero... Entonces sería como meat ah, chicken o como no. No, ¿Cómo se dice? No, ¿verdad? no, ¿cómo se dice pollo? Cerdo, pollo y vaca. <ríe> ah, pero también hay de, de otro tipo de carne. Es carne de soya. Chicken meat, chicken meat. No. Ok, solo chicken. Pollo. Chicken, pollo. Chicken. <risa> ya voy a cenar, ¿no? <risa> sí que entonces en res sería ajá uh, res ajá wow no sé cómo es res es beef yo puse cut vaca de una <risa> en corto cow 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 but no okay so eh, la carne, la carne es beef. Ajá, beef. Ok, a Yo beef. beef. sorry. Beef, ajá. Beef, Then, ajá. cerdo. How do you say cerdo? Ajá, la carne de cerdo. How do you say that? Pork. Pork, correct. Y para decir chicharrones es lo mismo. <laughs> Chicharrón. Por, por ejemplo, yo voy a Estados Unidos y digo, ¿a dónde puedo encontrar chicharrones? O algo así. Aquí voy a pedir mis pupusas de chicharrón en inglés. Ah, o pupusas de pork. <risa> ok, no. Pork crackling. Ok, so. Pork cra eh, crackling. Let me see. Like this. Pork. Pork crackling. Pork. Pork crackling. Okay. Pork. Eh, voy a desactivar la cámara. Tengo problemas con ella. 
se me está la guiando. Yes. Que, eh, para los embutidos sería como sausages. 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 Yes, sausages. Los embutidos. Sausages. Uy, eso le damos cuatro y son cinco. <laughs> How do you say tocino? How do you say tocino? How do you say costillas? Eh... Ah, pero es que yo pero, pensé que... Pero es que no Ajá. es lo mismo, pues. Ajá, Ajá pensé es que, que era lo mismo. Yes. Cerdo, pollo y vaca. O sea, pensé yes, que entran but... en todo eso. Ajá. But, I mean, sí. Or, or... Ajá. <laughs> okay, so how do you say tocino? Tocino es... Tocino, no, no sé. I don't know. Ok, bacon. Ah, bacon. Que es cierto. Que sí son las hamburguesas. La bacon. Bacon Junior. Ajá. <laughs> ok. So, how do you say costillas? Eso sí, no sé. La verdad, B, costilla. Ribs. 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 I love ribs. En el Tony Romas, if you go to Tony Romas, you see, I love ribs. No he visto nunca eso. I love ribs. No, no le he visto. Ok, but yes. Yo no salgo de la casa. <laughs> <laughs> no, mentira. Uy. Uh -huh. I think that you are done. Yo creo que ya tienen las cinco. You are done. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora the other, la otra categoría, la que usted va a elegir. Esa es libre. Ustedes eligen. Uh, tipo de pero... carros. Yo puedo decir no, bro. Yes. Puede. Como por, ejemplo, como por ejemplo decir, pero no sé si sería carro. O automóviles, o como por ejemplo decir eh, bus, carros, pickup, microbuses. Entonces, no, no, ser, no serían como los. Um, eh, no serían como los tipos de carros, sino que serían los medios de transporte. Uh -huh. So, how do you say medios de transporte? Means of transportation. Means. Mm. Oh. Means of transportation. O oh, podrían ser también tipo de zapatillas deportivas, de baile. Shoes. Eh, uh -huh. Shoes. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Okay. Ustedes deciden, ¿ok? You choose. Okay? Uh -huh. Let me go to the next room and see if they need help. Okay? Give me one second. Let me go with Erica. Ok, did you finish? Yes, okay. Let me see. Fruits. Tell me five fruits. Uh, apple. Apple. Banana. Mm -hmm. uh, grape. Grape. Erika, no sé si usted gusta, dice las otras. Uh, Apple, ah, ya lo dijo. Guaremelo, pineapple. Guaremelo, pineapple, ok. Now tell me five vegetables. Eh, tomato. Tomato. Potato. Potato. Carrot. Carrot. Broccoli. Broccoli. Eggplant. 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 Do you like eggplants? Do you like eggplants? Yes. Delicious, right? Very delicious. delicious. And you, Erica, do you like eggplants? No. <laughs> no, you don't like eggplants? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Now tell me five meat. Five meat. <laughs> ahí, ahí estábamos, pero bueno. Okay. Eh, chicken. Chicken. Uh, pork. Pork. Fish. 
pero es que en, en ese estado no sé si era marisco o un solo producto, digamos una sola especie. Oh, that is seafood. Uh -huh. Todos los mariscos. Lo Ajá. quiero incluir. Seafood. Pero seafood sería una categoría aparte. Porque la comida de mariscos tenemos pescado, camarones, langosta, concha. Ajá. No. Sería. Beef. Beef. Y muro o mu. Es por dentro, no sé cómo se dice. Ok, so. Do you have, spell, spell what you have? Dele, déjeme lo que tiene. M. M. Eh, U. U. E. T. E. T. No, T. Doble. O oh, T. 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 O. O. N. M U T T O N N de nada. Okay, carne de okay. Yes, so that is a uh, mutton. Yes, mutton. Es como mutton, verdad? Yes, it's mutton, 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 okay. mutton, mutton. Okay, yes. Okay, and the other category, the extra, the extra one that you added. Which one did you add? It? Which one do you add? Uh, colors. Colors. And, okay. and water. Uh -huh. Blue, white, yellow, red, okay. green, pink. Oh, many yeah. colors, right? Many <laughs> colors. Okay. All right. So how do you say, how do you say um, pescado? Fish. 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 How, how do you say cangrejo? Uh, Acá. Es difícil. Crab. Crab. How do you say langosta? Lobster. Ajá. How do you say um, calamar? Calamar. Calamar. Ay, Dios mío. Squid. Squid. Como los juegos de calamar. ¿Vieron esa serie? Okay, so the squid games. Squid. Squid. Okay, very good. So right now, what we are going to do, let me see. I need you to practice. Do you remember about your homework? ¿Se recuerda de la tarea? Do you, do you remember about the homework? Okay, so right yes, now, teacher. yes. I want you to ask the question. So Irma, you are going to ask Erika, what is, okay, what's in your bathroom? And Erika, you are going to tell Irma, okay? Primero, Irma pregunta todas las, las preguntas a Erika y después Erika a Irma, okay? Yes? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Erika, I... what's in your bathroom? Um, there is a shower. Mm -hmm. There is a soap holder. There is a, there are some shampoos. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a brush. Mm -hmm. What about Airbnb? Diga, teacher. Hello, and Airbnb? No sé, estaba aquí, desactivó la cámara y ya no lo vi. Yo me quedé esperando a, 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 a que nos sacara la Oh, okay. Okay, did you finish? Terminó. Sí, sí. Sí, okay. terminé las, the las other, cinco de cada una. Okay, and the okay, the last category, ¿cuál categoría escogieron al final? Pues eh, él escogió el transporte, yo sí. puse eh, lo de las zapatillas, 
Oh, tell me. Es en las en las opcionales, ¿verdad? En la yes. opcional. Yes. En, yeah. en las anteriores, eh, manzana, piña, mm -hmm. banana, pineapple, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. eh, pin, ma, apple, mm -hmm. banana, mm -hmm. watermelon, mm -hmm. eh, Catalaupe, es, no sé cómo lo pronuncian, porque lo puse en inglés. Mm. De ahí en la siguiente categoría, potatos, uh -huh. patatas, ¿vale? Potatoes, potatoes. Potatoes, carrot, uh -huh. cauliflower. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, ca así se dice. Yes, cauliflower, yes. Oh, cauliflower. Uh -huh. Onion, onion. Sí. Mm -hmm. yes. En el siguiente sería pork, chicken, cow, cow, cow y estufle. Estufle. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, y de ahí las zapatillas. Sniker, slipper, flip. Flops mm -hmm. y bots. Boots. Boots. Ok, very good. Ok, give me one second, ok. Give me one second. Ok, so hello Liliana. Hello teacher. How are you? Okay. I'm fine. You're fine? Ok, perfect. So just let me call uh, the class back because they were practicing, ok? Give me one second. All right, guys. So, Marcelo, tell me five fruits. Watermelon, banana, mm -hmm. apple, 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 lemon, mm -hmm. and orange. Orange. Yvette, tell me five vegetables. Tomato. Yes. Carrot. Yes. Potato. Yes. With skill. Yes. Pepper. Pepper. Okay. Pepper. Irma, tell me five fruits. Irma? Let me see if Irma is here. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, Irma, tell me five fruits. Uh, apple, mm -hmm. pineapple, 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 uh, banana, watermelon, and grape. Great. And okay. grape. Yes. And other. And other. Yes, other. Let's see. Uh, what did you choose? ¿Qué eligieron, Marcelo? In other? Animals. Okay. A dog. Yes. Cat. Yes. Horse. Yes. Elephant. Yes. Y butterfly. Butterfly. Marco, what did you choose for other? Which category for other? Oh, Michael, you are on mute. Sorry. Okay. Um, yellow, pink, orange, blue, oh. blue uh, purple. Okay, that was easy. And you, um, well, Erica, other? Colors. Colors, uh-huh. Blue, white, yellow, pink, green, red. In red. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take the attendance once again. Okay. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. I'm going to take the attendance nuevamente. Okay. So Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Cristian Marcelo Ramirez Mora. Present. Elmer Alexander, Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Herson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Erwin Francisco Peraza Herrera. 
Ivette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Well, I know José. Uh, Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Ebra. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Okay. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. Present. Leima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Okay. So, right now, we are going to start by talking about the following. So, we have quantifiers in English, guys. We have quantifiers. Okay. Quantifiers. Nos ayudan a medir cantidades. Quantifiers. Okay. So, we have much, many, some, and a lot of. Yes. Much, many, some, and a lot of. And as you can see right here, you, say, uh, you see uncountable and countable. Yes? So, the countable and uncountable. When we say countable, son contables. When we say uncountable, son incontables. Yes? So, when we say countable, contables. Que se puede contar. Uncountable, que no se puede contar. Okay? So, as you can see, we have much uncountable. Utilizamos much con los nombres incontables. Utilizamos many with the countable nouns. We use some with both of them. Utilizamos some con los dos. Countable and uncountable. And a lot of countable and uncountable. So, cuando decimos que son contables, countable, we mean apple, one. Apples, many. Muchas. So, what is the meaning of much and what is the meaning of many? Los dos significan mucho o muchas. Muchos o muchas. O mucho. Teacher, uh, sorry. Um, ¿En qué momento vamos a utilizar cada una de cada, las palabras? Porque me imagino que debe tener un tiempo. Yes. Um, no un tiempo. Tiene una estructura. Ok. Vaya. Con much, aquí, as you can see, is uncountable, incontable. Si usted se fija aquí, tenemos algunos. We have some. We have some of the uncountable nouns that we have in English. There are many. Hay muchísimos nombres incontables. Okay? When we say uncountable, cuando decimos incontables, es que no se pueden contar, que sí se puede empezar, ¿verdad? que sí se pueden medir pero que no se pueden contar, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. Yes? So the uncountable, as you can see, is much. For example, if we want to say, ahí hay mucha agua. Ahí hay mucha agua. Sure. Yes. Usted dice que much, much, o match. Match. Match se puede utilizar en las cosas que se pueden contar y pesar. No. Solo contar. No. En Not las cosas incontables. Uncountable. Ok. En many, we countable. For example, much, no podemos pesar, eh, no podemos contar el agua. Podemos contar las botellas con agua pero el agua no la podemos contar. Igual la leche. La leche no la podemos contar. Podemos eh, contar los cartones, las bolsas, pero, o la podemos pesar, ¿verdad? Pero no podemos contarla. O sea, la leche líquido, no lo podemos contar. Okay. Okay. Yes. La harina, the flour, harina, la podemos pesar. Ah, podemos contar las bolsas, pero la harina, el polvito, no podemos no. contarlo. Okay? So, when we say much, we mean uncountable. Okay? So, if we want to say, hay mucha agua, 
hay mucha agua. There, there is, is much water. Correct. Y a esto me refiero cuando decimos que utilizamos much con los uncountables. Okay. For example, hay mucha azúcar. La azúcar tampoco se puede contar. No podemos contar los granitos. No. Podemos pesarla. Pero no la podemos contar. Okay. So, sugar is uncountable. So, there is, if I want to say que hay mucha azúcar, there is much sugar. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. Etc. Okay. You have some examples. Aquí usted tiene algunos ejemplos para que se guíe. Claro está que no son todos los que existen en inglés. Hay muchísimos nombres contables y muchísimos nombres incontables. ¿Sí? Esos son algunos y, para que se guíe. Teacher, ¿y la palabra son cómo la podemos utilizar? Yes. Por si sí, se que es en los dos, ¿verdad? Yes. Right. So, um, give me one second. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to erase it. Okay, so now, uh, give me one second, Irma. Just, I'm going to explain many. So many is countable. So for example, if we want to say, hay muchas, porque es contable, hay muchas manzanas. So there are many apples. Oh, okay. Hay muchos sandwiches. There are many Sandwiches. Hay muchos eh, pasteles. There are many cakes. Y se acuerda de agregarle la S porque son nombres contables. Se pueden pluralizar. Ok, entonces puedo utilizar. Ah, ok. okay. Sí, sí, sí. Pero el son. Yes. So now. Vamos con some. Do you have any other question before I move on? Tienen preguntas de much y many antes de que yo continúe? Okay. So now, let's move. And we are going to talk about much. Well, no, some in this case, okay? So some, for example, eh, this could mean, puede significar algo o algunas. For example, hay algunas manzanas. There are, hay algunas manzanas. There are some apples. Hay algunas manzanas. There are some flowers. Flowers. There There are some flowers, como flores. No, eh, harina, perdón. O oh, no. Flower. No, en no. este caso, como es uncountable, vamos a utilizar uh -huh. there is. Uh, there is. ¿Mm? There is some flower. Flower. Correcto. Mm -hmm. So that is the difference. That uh, we can use some with countable and uncountable. Con los contables y los incontables. Entonces, cuando decimos countable, se refiere a que podemos pluralizar. There are some apples. There are some cakes. There are some sandwiches. There are some eggs. There are some carrots. There are some grapes, etc. Etc. So with um, some with uncountable, there is some water, there is some milk, there is some flour, there is some sugar, there is some she, cheese, there is some tea, etc. Okay. Yes. There are some chairs, but is it la chairs? Correct, like that, Jose. 
Yes. Así como lo acaba de escribir usted, José. Yes. Ajá. So, do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? Podría dar otro ejemplo con, con some. some. Yes. Yeah. Uh, some, for example. Uh, there are some uh, students. Hay algunos estudiantes. There are some students. Okay. Eh, Perdón, o sea, ese se va a referir cuando, digamos, no tenemos una cantidad exacta, por ajá. decirlo así. Correct. Sí, porque no podemos, cuando tenemos una cantidad exacta, tenemos que decir el número. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Ah, ok. Ajá. Gracias. Thank okay. you. All right. So remember that exactly. When you have the number, for example, if I want to say, there are three students. Ya no utilizo ninguno, nada. Solo utilizo el número. There are three apples. There are two cats. There is one teacher. There are three girls. Um, there are six cats. A lot of, muchos. Un montón. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. There are a lot of apples. Hay muchas manzanas, pero muchísimas. Mm -hmm. A lot of. Una cantidad grande. A lot of. Un montón. There are a lot of sandwiches. Hay un montón de sandwiches. Una cantidad grande. There, there is a lot of paper, paperwork. There is. Cartón. Yes. There is a lot of. Hay un Ok, so in this case, guys, remember que utilizamos much with uncountable and many with countable. And a lot of, lo utilizamos con los dos. Y recordemos, esto es mucho. Ambas significan mucho o mucha o muchos. Y a lot of, un montón. Una cantidad grande. Big quantities. Cantidades grandes. You give emphasis. Usted le da énfasis a la cantidad cuando usted dice a lot of. Es una cantidad grande. Si yo digo there are many apples, hay muchas manzanas. Cantidad normal. There are many apples. But if I say there are a lot of apples, una cantidad grande. Cuando usted quiere dar intensity, cuando usted quiere dar un poquito más de, de intensidad, quizás que hay bastantes, muchísimas, es mejor utilizar a lot of. Ajá. Yes. Um, teacher, uh, sería, I have a watermelon in, uh, in the house. I have a watermelon at home. Yes, de una sandía en la casa. Yes, I have a watermelon. Sí, puede decir I have a watermelon at home or there is a watermelon at home. Y ambas significan lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Any other doubt? ¿Alguna otra duda? Now, cuando alguien les pregunte, how many apples are there? How many apples are there? How many apples are there? How many apples? How many apples are there? One apple. Just one. How 
how much how much sugar how much sugar is there how much sugar is there sugar and kilos o libras no no importa pounds libras Ok, si le pregunto how much sugar is there, ¿cuánta azúcar hay? Me puede decir dos sugar? libras, tres libras, whatever. O me puede decir mucha, poca o bastante. Ahí depende de lo como usted quiera responder. Right? Porque me puede decir how much sugar is there. Well, there is much sugar. There is some, some sugar. There is a lot of sugar. Depende de lo que se me quiera responder. Todo depende de su respuesta. No hay nada. En inglés no hay nada escrito en piedra. All right? Depende de lo que usted quiera responder. Por eso es que hay muchas opciones. O sea, o sea puedo responder. There is five pounds. There are, porque ahí es plural. There are. There are five, five pounds. There are five pounds. Uh -huh. There are five pounds. Okay. There are five pounds. Si se quiere decir, hay cinco libras. There are. O una libra, there is one pound. One, uh -huh. one pound. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other question? Preguntas. No, right now? No? Okay. Let's move. So, mire acá, tenemos también otro tipo de respuestas. So, for example, how much water do you drink every day? How much water do you drink every day? ¿Cuánta agua toma? Okay. I drink a lot of water. I drink plenty of water. So a lot of, mucha, plenty, bastante, okay? Uh, I don't, yes, I don't drink much water. I don't drink any water, nada. Any, any water is nada de agua, nada. Any water. Let me ask you, how much water do you drink every day? You? I drink much water. You drink much water. Okay. Okay. And the other ones, how much water do you drink every day? You, Irma? How much water do you drink every day? I drink a lot of water. You drink a lot of water. That means 10 glasses or even more. My God. Okay. Now we also have, this is actually, those are full answers. Estas son oraciones completas, si se fijan. But we also have short answers. También tenemos las respuestas cortas. Si yo le pregunto, how much water do you drink every day? Tiene dos opciones. O decir las full answers o las short answers. Las respuestas cortitas. Y solo usted dice, how much water do you drink every day? A lot. Un montón. Ajá, un montón. Plenty. Bastante. Not much. No mucha. Non. Then, how many meals do you eat? ¿Cuántas veces usted come? Meals significa comidas. Pero las meals son desayuno, almuerzo y cena. How do you say desayuno, almuerzo y cena in English? Breakfast, eh, lunch, y dinner. 
Excellent. Esas son las comidas, ¿ok? Las meals. Yes. So, how many meals do you eat? I eat a lot of meals. I eat plenty of meals. I don't eat many meals. And I don't eat any meals. Or you can answer a lot, plenty, not many, and none. Okay, so it depends. Depende de cómo se quiera contestar. It depends on you. Mm -hmm. Questions? Dudas? Questions? No. No, right now? Okay. So now let's complete the questions below. Let's add how much or how many. How much or how many? Okay, so first one. How much or how many? How many? How many? Uh -huh. How many sandwiches do you eat every week? Uh -huh. Number two. How much or how many? How much? How much? Because ice cream is uncountable. So how much ice cream do you eat every week? Number three. How much? How much? How much coffee do you drink? Excellent. Number four. How many? How many? How many? Yes. How many, how many hours do you work every day? Perfect. Number five. How many? How many? How many? many? Okay. How much? How much? El dinero se considera incontable. So, how much? How much money how much? do you spend on clothes? Many, no. Much. Number six. How many? How many rooms are there in your house? Number seven. How many? Mm -hmm. How much? How, how much? much? How much time? How exactly. Much. How, how much time do you spend on the phone? And number eight. How many? How many? How many, how many friends how many? do you have uh -huh, on Facebook? Okay. So let me ask you: How many friends do you have on Facebook? How many friends? Oh my God, you're so happy right there. <laughs> yes, you're so happy. <laughs> okay, so, but, uh -huh. how many friends do you have on Facebook? Two, three, five, 15, 50, 100. How many friends do you have on Facebook? How many friends? How many? How many friends? How many uh, friends? A lot, plenty, not many, none. A lot. A lot. Okay. A lot. A lot. And how many sandwiches do you eat every week? How many sandwiches do you eat every week? A lot, plenty, not many, none. Not many. Not many. Uh -huh. And let me ask you then. How much hours do you work? Well, in this case, how many hours? Okay, so how many hours do you work every day? How many hours? How many hours do you work every day? How many? A lot, plenty, not many, or none? <laughs> plenty, right? Plenty, plenty, okay? Plenty of hours, okay? So, mm, how many rooms are there in your house? How many rooms? Not many. Not many, okay. Not and many. how much money do you spend on clothes? How much money? How much money? How much money? A not lot, many. plenty, not much, or none? Not much. Not much. Not much, okay. Very good. So you see, in that way, how much and how many. Okay, so now 
Let's create questions. How much or how many? Number two. Mm -hmm. How much or how many? How much? How much? How yes. Much. How, how much? much do you drink? Yes. Number three. How much do you speak? Yes. <laughs> how much do you speak? Number four. How many? How many? How many do you read? How much? How much do you read? Okay. Yes. And number five. Uh, how many? How many do you spend at home? Okay. Mm, or how much? How much or how many? Uh -huh. How much? How much? How much do you how spend much? at home? Okay. How much time? Cuánto tiempo? How much time? Number six. How? How much do you know? And number seven. How much? How much do you have? How much do you have? Okay, pero si yo quiero preguntar eh, algo específico, cuánto. ¿Cuántas manzanas tienes? Uh, how, many? How, many? How, many? how many? How many do you have? How many do you have? How many apples do you have? How many, how many apples do you have? How many, do you have? Mm -hmm. how many apples? Have you apple. Apples, yes. Okay. How many days are there in January, guys? How many days are there in January? How many days? There are... How many days? There are 30, 30, 31 days. Uh -huh. And how many cousins do you have? How many cousins do you have? You know Sorry, teacher. How do you say cousin? Oh, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? Cousins? Primos. Uh, okay, thank you. How many cousins do you have? There are four cousins. Okay, four cousins. Okay. And how many there computers? There are more cousins. <laughs> there but, are many. But, there are many, many, many. Contable, many. Okay. There how are many, many. There are many what? cousins. Marcelo? How many cousins do you have, Marcelo? There are many five. There are, okay, five, five cousins. Yes. And how many computers do you have? There are one computer. There is one? There is, there is one. There is computer. two computers. There are, there are two, plural. Plural. There are. There are two. Yes. And how many students are there in the class right now? How many students? Ten. I. Are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, how much water do you drink every day? Choose one. Hey. Uh huh. I drink a lot of water. I don't drink much water. Option B. Oh my God, Marco! You should drink more more water. You need to drink more water. Okay. So number two, how much how much chocolate do you eat? I don't eat my I eat any, any chocolate. 
any chocolate, okay? And how much alcohol do you drink? I don't drink any alcohol. I don't, uh -huh. I don't drink any alcohol. How much fruit and vegetables do you eat? I, I eat a lot, lot of fruit. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. And how much exercise do you do? I don't know. I don't know any exercise. <laughs> you don't do any exercise. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, guys. So do you have any question right now? Questions? Doubts? I don't know. No? Okay. I do not. Okay. All right, guys. So um, then before we go, well, we're going to stop right here. Okay. Vamos a dejar la clase hasta aquí. Ya son las 10 y 1. So don't forget. Solamente que no se le olvide. Okay. Que no se le olvide eh, realizar las evaluaciones de la plataforma. Okay, so then if you don't have any question, I'll see you back on Monday. Okay, have a nice weekend. Enjoy your dates. Okay, que descanse. Okay, have a, a good rest. Justania, please stay with me. Good night. The other ones, good, good night. night. Happy night. weekend, house. Thank you. Happy, Happy weekend, house. Okay, Bye. enjoy your weekend. Thank you. No drink alcohol, no drink alcohol. No, you shouldn't drink alcohol, okay, Michael? <laughs> yes, no alcohol, okay. Bye. Okay, Jose. Bye, Jose. Take care, Jose. Okay, Tania. Sí, teacher. Okay, Tania. So, eh, puede hablar en ese momento? Sí, sí, sí. Okay, Tania. So, um, then this feedback, okay, ese pequeño feedback que vamos a tener es básicamente para que se me pueda comentar cómo se siente con las clases, cómo se ha sentido con todas la, las actividades que hacemos, cómo se ha sentido durante este casi mes que hemos estado en clase y también eh, que me comente si tiene alguna duda de algo, eh, etcétera, todo lo relacionado a las clases, necesito saber cómo se siente, cómo se ha sentido. Pues al momento bien, eh, algunas cosas sí me cuesta un poquito entender, sí. pero media vez usted la repite ya es como que más o menos entiendo ya después qué es lo que está tratando de decir. Ok. Uh -huh. y igual con las clases me siento bien. Uh, la mayoría de veces que no entiendo trato de preguntar al instante para que no me quede la duda. Ok. Ok. Eh, con cuestión de las actividades que hacemos en la clase, ¿cómo se siente con sus compañeros? Eh, pues bien, al, algunos que están algo callados, pero eh, un, eh, le trato de sacar la plática para hacer la actividad. Ok. Y hay otros que son más, más extrovertidos. Ok. And, all right. And what about homework? Um, que acerca de las tareas, ¿cómo se siente con las tareas, con la plataforma? ¿Ha tenido algún problema? Eh, no, hasta el momento no, incluso el lunes que no tuvimos clase, traté de avanzar hasta la clase, hasta la tarea de ahora. Entonces ya las terminé todas, hasta el número 15. Ok, ok, ok. okay. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna pregunta acerca de algún tema que hemos visto? Hasta el momento no, sí me he perdido dos, dos clases, pero como están las grabaciones, entonces de ahí la trato, pero de, la trato de ver para entenderle y como usted explica bien las clases, entonces casi no me queda mucha duda. Ok, ok, Tania. Ahora eh, le voy a compartir mi feedback de, de, de maestro estudiante. Bien, en este caso pues... Eh, Primero, pues, felicitarla porque en realidad, sí, solamente ha fallado quizás a dos clases, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por motivos externos, ¿verdad? Que usted me comentaba. Básicamente, pues, la felicito porque se nota el interés que tiene, ¿verdad? Que siempre está participando, siempre está como en ese constante aprendizaje que se nota que usted necesita y quiere, ¿verdad? Saber un poquito más. Entonces, eso es súper bueno. Cada vez que yo pues entro a las, a, la, a las aulas, ¿verdad? Siempre está hablando con su compañero y está tratando de hacer eso que usted misma dice, ¿verdad? Como el eh, sacarles plática, ¿verdad? A sus compañeros. Y creo que eso es súper bueno. La verdad que eso es súper bueno. 
y eh, tal vez eh, invitarla a que cuando estemos en, la, en lo de las breakout rooms, que los mandemos a las salitas, que empiece a utilizar más el idioma inglés, porque si usted lo utiliza, su compañero también lo va a utilizar, ¿verdad? Pero si no lo utilizamos ni uno ni el otro, entonces nos acostumbramos a español. Y recordemos que a pesar que eh, básicamente estemos en básico, pero tenemos que hacer el intento por hablar inglés. Entonces, esa tal vez sería una observación, ¿verdad? Para usted, que en las próximas clases que usted tenga y que tengamos todavía la próxima semana nosotros, que por favor, pues, eh, comience a utilizar más el idioma, ¿verdad? Cuando está con su compañero más que todo en, la, en las salas. Luego de eso, pues, eh, en realidad es una de las alumnas más responsables ¿Verdad? Es eh, súper eh, dedicada también, ¿verdad? A sus clases. Entonces, pues, felicitar, la verdad, por esa parte, porque siempre está presente, ¿verdad? Es rara la ocasión y por motivos externos que no, no se puede conectar por veces, Tania. Pero, eh, pues, aparte de eso, súper bien. La, las tareas las hace exactamente como usted me comentó. Ya vi yo la plataforma, ya vi que usted va como al día. Entonces, eso es súper bueno, ¿verdad? Eh, la última pregunta que tal vez le, le, le tengo, Tania, es ¿cuál es su objetivo al aprender el idioma inglés? ¿Con qué objetivo? ¿Cuál es su meta con el idioma? Bueno, yo me gustaría aprender un poquito más del inglés porque a veces hay como, eh, como posibilidades para uno entrar en el presente, ganar un poquito mejor o tener un Entonces, si uno, si uno aprende algunas cosas nuevas, es como que le da el pie de que uno pueda tener cosas mejores en un futuro. Ok, y usted ya había aprendido el inglés antes, ya, ya había estudiado inglés antes. Eh, así por eh, academia de inglés y cosas así, no solamente así en, en, en el instituto que no estaba en inglés. Y le ha gustado siempre. Eh, sí me gusta, lo único que a veces es que como que me cuesta mucho entenderlo o, o decir algunas cosas en inglés. Ok, ok. Sí, bueno, en ese caso, pues la verdad que eh, yo, yo pensaba que había pues estudiado el idioma en otro lugar tal vez porque se le hace bien fácil comprender la mayoría de... de de temas que hemos visto y eso es súper bueno también porque he observado que hay algunos temas que no le cuestan mucho. Eh, sí, es que como algunos eh, más o menos le pongo bastante atención cuando se está explicando, entonces no me cuesta mucho, pero hay algunas otras cosas que sí me cuestan. Más cuando usted dice algunas palabras que son nuevas. Ok. Me cuesta mucho entender. Ok, ok, ok. Vaya. Ok, pero eh, en resumen... Eh, usted se siente pues bien, ¿verdad? Vamos eh, básicamente comprendiendo y esto es lo, lo, lo ideal, ¿verdad? Y lo y más importante es que usted pues eh, aprenda, ¿verdad? Sabemos que no es de la noche a la mañana, sabemos que toma tiempo, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, si hasta el momento usted dice sí ha aprendido, ¿verdad? Entonces eso pues es lo, lo que buscamos, ¿verdad? Entonces no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta o alguna observación, Tania, que me quiera compartir. Uh -huh. Perdón, se me fue la señal. No, no se preocupe. Le estaba preguntando que si hay alguna observación o algo que me quiera preguntar antes de que nos vayamos. Pues hace con todo, pues estoy bien. Ok. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, Tania, vamos a dejar hasta aquí el feedback y cualquier cosa siempre me puede contactar, ¿verdad? Y yo con mucho gusto le voy a apoyar. Sí, 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 muchas gracias, teacher. Ok, Tania, so pase buenas noches, good night, and I'll see you back on Monday, ok? Ok, creo que tiene como problemas con la señal, Tania. Good night. Good, 
गुड नाइट अन्य बाय बाय